Good morning. We had to stop at Casey's for breakfast. Um, we're on our way to uh, me and dad's farm. We're gonna work a lot of cows today. So breakfast pizza, donuts and chocolate milk were needed. All right, first step is going to be moving all these cows over here so that they're together and we can start sorting. It's going to be, it's going to be a very, very loud day because the moms have never been away from their babies and they just kind of start to freak out. So they will be reunited in just a few hours, but they're gonna be really, really loud until then. Grant is self-admittedly not much of a cow guy. Go <laughs> out. What do you think of all this? I should probably be helping and not videotaping. Sorry, little calvy wavies. It's time to leave your little calf haven for just a little bit. Come on, come on. Go out and be with your moms. Let's go. Come on. Oh no, oh go, 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 go. I stepped right out of my boot into cow food. Oh no. That's what this is. Oh honey. I know. What you gonna do? Alright, well, I better go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we have all the mama cows here. And here we have all the calves. And there is a lot of them. This is the most calves we've ever had in a year. Okay, so we've sectioned off the calves here, and we're going to take them up into small groups into the building, and then that's where we, uh, oh, here's 91, that's fine. That's where we grab them like this, and we hold them while they get their shots, and if they're full calves, they're going to cast them, and then they get sent off, and they'll be back with their moms. <laughs> we got the scent in the shop here as we're taking a quick little lunch break since you're on a lunch break well i'll just show you i used the three point and front weight on the front of the fence here i used it as my homework station so i just set my laptop up right here it worked so nice <laughs> The next goal before we sort through all the moms is to hook up the cattle pot to the truck here. Our problem was that because of all the rain and how heavy the cattle pot is, the jack stands are just so sunk into the ground. So we're hoping, we're hoping, fingers crossed, that the truck can fit under here and ooh, lift it up a little bit. That's not looking so hot. We would use the telehandler to lift this up, but it's not here right now. Ooh. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay. Can you put can you put a credit card through there? I think I that's think, resting think on the tire. This will be a good use of wheel speed. I think if I jam it, you, you think might, we can you get it? Build this to back it up a little bit more. If you go. Maybe some speed. I say we bring some speed. Let's hit this. I'd say just back up a little more. Well, which one is it? Back up or hit it? I'll just try to back it up a little more. We can always hit it that more. Oh, that's, yeah, that's for the tarp, right? Yeah, I don't yeah, think it's... Yeah, that's for the 
that's just that's extra parts. You know when you build something, you get extra parts. <laughs> Here, this. A lot of people ask about lead farms, that's my dad's farm, what that stands for. It's my name and my guy, my four siblings' names. Leanne. I like this part of the farmyard because usually this is where everything is parked. So you get a nice view of everything that the farm has to offer here, equipment wise. Wow, I checked this first, it had five PSI. I think it's supposed to be a little bit higher. Just a little bit. The next stage to our cow sorting day is to actually <laughs> sort these cows. So uh, we have the babies split off as to where they're going. And so now the moms are going to be rematched up with their calves. There seems to be a pretty good handle on things, so I'm doing homework. <laughs> hey baby, here's one of mine, 92. This is one of the original cows that I bought when I was like 12 or 13 years old. She's been a great cow for me. Now we're just going to take the calves, put them in this trailer, and they'll be hauled to the ranch where they'll be reunited with their mom. All right, now the calves can go to their new home. Now dad is going to back the cattle pot up, and all the calves that were going to the ranch, they're going to be on this trailer, and they can be reunited with their babies up on the grass. Luckily, we live in a great county with awesome sheriffs who give us little insider tips on where the fighter is. <laughs> Update, it's in a island on the river, so, so far it's contained, but the big fire truck is stuck. Yeah, so right now our property is in no danger, but the fire, the fire truck is stuck. So there's really nothing we can do in our pickup, but it's cool to I'll follow it around. <laughs> So the problem is, is that because the fire might be out in the river, we're in a river bottom. And so all the fire trucks are getting stuck down here. Power strokes looking good. Alright, so just a little update. All three fire trucks are stuck. Um, so Grant and I are going to the farm. We're going to grab a tractor. I'm gonna be in the tractor. Grant's gonna be in the military truck because dad is still loading, um, dad's still hauling cows. I know, smoke has pretty much filled the skyline right now. So we're just gonna try and pull the fire trucks out and I don't know, help them save the fire. That's a big fire, bud. I'm grabbing the 8530, Grant to the military truck. Lauren Grant to the rescue. Grant got here before me because he can drive a lot faster than 26 miles an hour. Um, so I got the tractor, he used the military truck to get this truck unstuck. Now we're going to try for the other two. Military truck is being put to absolute perfect use here. We'll see if we can get this baby unstuck.
Oh my goodness. Like a dream. All right, now we're gonna use this truck to get this one out from being unstuck. I cannot believe that made it. We just got a daisy chain going on here. Now the real trick is gonna be getting up this hill here. Not a bad way to wrap up a great day of working cows. Grant, I want to know, what did you think of being a cowboy today? I sure ain't no cowboy, that's for sure. <laughs> I thought it was kind of fun. <laughs> um, did you think the last part of the day was better? Oh yeah. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, unfortunately, because we were uh, out saving lives with the military truck and tractor, we missed Good Friday service, which I'm pretty disappointed about, and the firefighters all missed their fundraising fish fry. So we all made some sacrifices tonight, but the fire got put out, Things are under control. As far as we know, nobody got hurt. No buildings were damaged. It was just fire in the river, windy hot day. I think someone's tree st or deer stand got burned down, but. Oh, you think so? Okay, well, grand scheme of things, <laughs> that's not so bad. <laughs> um, but wow, great day. Okay, if you liked the military truck in today's video, um, for the, those of you who do not know, that's my dad's baby. He bought that on auction. Um, it performed so nicely for us today. It's the only way we ever could have gotten those firefighters out. I just wanted to give him a quick plug because he likes the truck so much he made t-shirts of it, okay? I'll have the link in the description. Look at this. I mean, come on. Yeah. So <laughs> if you want to buy a shirt that has dad's five-ton truck on it, link in the description.